So what you're dealing with, other people are dealing with. The question is, will you overcome? Are you going to overcome or are you going to be like everybody else and you just let it overcome you? If you're saved, you got the Holy Spirit, you can overcome anything. Born again, you must be born again. Born from above. You can't overcome this place in your own power, in your own strength. It has to be from above. It's impossible. You're fighting a devil and a bunch of demons that are unseen. You're fighting a bunch of archons that you can't see. Fallen archons. And and every every city, every state, every uh, place that you go, there's principalities and powers that pretty much run all these cults. It's all a cult. Your culture is a cult. You go to a corporation that has a culture. Why? It's a cult. There's always a cult. Most of the time when a person gets married, it turns into a cult. Think about what I'm saying. Look at all the marriages around you. Most of them are cults. Why do you think Apostle Paul said what he said in 1 Corinthians 7? He says, it's better, better for a man not to touch a woman. Why would he say something like that? better for a man to stay single. Why would why would the Apostle Paul say that? Because anytime you quantum connect down here, I don't care if it's a business, I don't care if it's a marriage, I don't care if it's any kind of contract, you're, you're stepping into the cult, the culture. They were marrying and giving in marriage and didn't, didn't think about the judgment that was on the way, right? They were just running from here to here, just doing... They weren't thinking about anything above. They were just thinking about, I got to get married, I got to make some babies, I got to I gotta get my job, and I got to get my piece of the pie. And see, think about it. Everybody's trying to get their piece of the pie. And no matter how much money they make, they want to make more. I mean, there's couple uh, YouTubers online that got about two or three million from investments and they still they still keep trying to make more instead of just paying everything off and retiring they just keep on going and they work harder than most people they're always working they're always making YouTube videos there's all they're always creating courses and channels and it's just like they don't want to relax. They they just the cares of this life. The cares of this life are just what? The sine wave, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, wars, rumors of wars. It just keeps going up and down, up and down. It's the sine wave, it's the snake. And the snake is a works based salvation, so it's a cult. So the whole system's a snake. Sine wave, sin wave, it's the cult. The yin and the yang, repeat. Pete and repeat. Around the mountain we go, around and around and around and around and around. Most people are not psychologically healthy, so when you get married, you usually marry a narcissist, and you might have been one, and you don't know it. You just... You're just following the program like everybody else. And you get up, you put your clothes on, you go to work, you go home, you follow a program. You turn their TV on, their news. I got to the, I'm to the point now, I don't like anything in this culture, any culture. I don't like any of them. I don't want to be in this culture. I don't want to be in any culture. I'd rather be out on a piece of land and uh, have my own culture but then you got to then you would create another little culture so no matter where you're at a little culture starts to spawn you know so wouldn't it be nicer to be praising God instead of being stuck in a culture 
Most people are praising the flesh. They worship the flesh, the world, the flesh, and pride life. Instead of worshiping God, they they worship the mundane flesh. The mundane repeat, the flesh. They worship the earth plane. They worship the clay and the dirt and the trees and the creation instead of the creator. That's the deal, people. And if you don't get tired of it after enough years, I had to question where your perspective really lies. Lays, lie, whatever. Notice the word lay and lie. Lay down is lying. When you lay down, yeah, you need some rest, but you're going into dreamland, right? Everything's connected. When you stand up, you're upright. When you lay down, you're you're lying down. The horizontal plane. The ho- the horizontal plane. The horizontal plane is laying down. The vertical upright plane is standing upright. That tells you everything you need to know right there. That tells you the the types of shadows of the marriage right there. Adam and Eve. That, that's the Adam and Eve story right there. That's the yin and yang story. The flesh versus the spirit is right in front of you all the time. The same stories repeating everywhere all the time. The lamb slain before the foundation world. Why he went to the cross. He already knew it before he created this place that he would have to do it. Because he's God. And so he already had it all scripted. And this is why the devil's mad. Because the devil figured it out. That he's the king of Tyre. King of the flesh. King of Tyre. King of Tyre. Ezekiel, I think is Ezekiel 23 or somewhere in there. King of Tyre. You could solve all mysteries. Except for one mystery. What was that? Faith alone and Jesus alone. There has to be a king of the flesh or king of Tyre, king of the tear, just like there's a king of righteousness. There's always a king somewhere. It is what it is. Let it be. Let it be said. Let it, let it, let it reverberate see if you can understand it I know you can't king of Tyre is king of tares which is what the flesh when you look at the rubber on a tire that's the where the rubber meets the road your flesh but the flat the tire is a flat tire if it doesn't have any air joint airs so you as a clay creature the only reason you're not a flat tire is because you're saved if you're not saved you're nothing but a tire a tire and so there has to be a king over you just like there's a king over the 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 righteous spirit there's a king of tear there's a prophet and priest and king and everything 